An important class of chemical reactions are called redox reactions or oxidation reduction reactions. These involve a transfer of electrons from one chemical to another. So for example, copper 2 plus can accept electrons from neutral zinc to turn into neutral copper and at the same time the zinc has lost electrons so the zinc went from a solid to a cation so it went into the solution. You can see the electrons more clearly when you write out the half reactions, which details where the electrons are. For copper 2 plus to turn into neutral copper, it has to gain two electrons. And for zinc to turn into zinc 2 plus, it has to lose two electrons. If you add together the two half reactions, you get the overall reaction because the electrons cancel. In this reaction, the zinc is being oxidized. The zinc lost electrons, so this is the oxidation half reaction. The copper 2 plus gained two electrons, so this is the reduction half reaction. Oxidation and reduction always go together, just like an acid always reacts with the base. It's impossible for two chemicals to both act as acids. It's impossible in electron transfer to have both chemicals acting as either being reduced or being oxidized. Now we can classify what's what in terms of agents. So when you see oxidizing agent, agent is another word for reactant. So what was the reactant that caused something else to be oxidized? In this reaction, we know zinc was oxidized. Zinc is not the oxidizing agent. What caused zinc to be oxidized was the copper 2 plus. And what caused the copper 2 plus to be reduced was the presence of the zinc. Now a better way to figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced is to use oxidation numbers, which are theoretical charges. They're theoretical, not real charges, but we use them so we can keep track of all of the electrons. It's based on electronegativity. So for example, in carbon monoxide, we know that oxygen is more electronegative, so let's assume that oxygen has a full negative charge and oxygen needs the negative 2 to reach the octet rule, the carbon would be assigned an oxidation number of positive 2 because the overall charge in carbon monoxide is neutral. In carbon dioxide, the oxygen is still a negative 2, but we have two of those, so the total charge is negative 4, and the total charge on the carbon would have to be a positive 4. So the oxidation number of carbon is different in different compounds based on what it's connected to. The electronegativity comes into play. Whichever element is more electronegative, we're going to give all the electrons it needs to reach the octet rule. 